On a personal note, I must confess that I am becoming increasingly disappointed with both the political hard right and the political hard left. For many years, I thought the hard right's insistence on individual rights was basically in the correct ballpark. But right now, its obsession against vaccinations to control COVID-19 strikes me as uh, borderline um, lunatic. People my age or a little older probably remember taking vaccines against polio, whooping cough, measles, etc., and thinking, isn't science wonderful? So why are so many Republicans opposed to COVID vaccinations? Can it really be out of loyalty to Trump? The concept of the common good seems to have been forgotten. On the other hand, the hard left's insistence on total sexual autonomy, even in teenagers that would otherwise need their parents' permission to have a mole removed, and on the notion that this country was not only founded, but is also still propped up by almost exclusively racist notions, is also totally unacceptable. Until and, unleft, until and unless the hard left and the hard right find a common ground on which to compromise, even at the cost of leaving the most extreme elements at both ends of their curves spinning on their own, we will be stuck in the present predicament. Now that I have expressed some of my political convictions, a personal note. As many of you know, in late August, I was diagnosed with a grade four glioblastoma, a terminal brain tumor which can be controlled for a period of time, but not cured. For the time being, I'm feeling pretty good, but the tumor is very aggressive and almost certain to come back. That is why I am choosing and choosing is in a uh, um, re re retired, not, not retired, but um, well, let's just say it, it's, it's choosing with a, 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 a wow, choosing to retire now rather than at 70. I don't know exactly how long I have left to live, and everybody around me is telling me to retire now and make as many memories as possible with my family. Kimberly, in particular, has been my rock in more ways than most of you can imagine. Um, she bears her personal burdens, which are not insignificant by any means, as graciously as anyone can expect were simultaneously taking care of me. I now know for a fact that many of you bear burdens similar to mine, and I can only hope that you have a comparable companion. It is indeed very strange. For the first 19 years of our lives together, we shared implicitly and sometimes explicitly the assumption that I would outlive Kimberly. Then with a simple seizure, the whole paradigm was turned upside down. Now I can't drive for almost another four months, assuming I don't have another seizure. And Kimberly now arranges my meds in my medicine box. On the other hand, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm back to having more energy than she has and I'm, the, and I'm therefore doing more chores at home. A strange moment indeed. In summary, I have worked with some outstanding people, both colleagues and students. I have loved teaching and wanted to do this all my life. I leave AU with mostly good memories as far as I'm personally concerned. And the best memory of all, of course, is the wife that is still by my side.
It is a great honor to be asked by Dr. Ippolito to present to him the gift from the university. 32 years ago, I interviewed a young man from the University of New England who wanted to come and teach at a Christian university. I was immediately impressed by his academic credentials, but was more impressed by his Christian worldview and the fact that he had spent considerable time working on the integration of faith and science. I knew right away that this was someone I wanted to teach and work within our biology department. Over the years, it's become evident that the university's decision to hire Dan was the right one. In his time at AU, Dan has cared deeply about his students in many ways. He has always held them to a high academic standard. He reminded them that if God called them to be students, he called them to study hard. Through his faith and integration class, he helped them see that they could be a scientist and a Christian. He helped them struggle with those areas where science and a faith appear to be in conflict. Never willing to give a pat answer, he allowed them to work out their own integration of faith and science. He also took an interest in his students' lives and always was willing to counsel them as they decided on what area of biology they would take up in the future. But he did not confine his interaction with students to just the classroom. He and Kimberly often had biology students in their home and all within the department look forward to that one evening every year when Dan would take the senior biology students on in a game of trivia pursuit. It was Dan on one team and all the biology majors on the other. In all the years the game was played, I only recall Dan losing once. One of Dan's greatest contributions to the biology department was the menagerie of reptiles and other animals on the second floor of Hartung Hall. At first, I wondered about the time and the funds it would take to maintain such a collection of animals. But seeing Dan use those animals in his teaching, watching the students spend time observing the animals, and seeing the large number of young children who came to the hallway and would shout with glee over each specimen, I soon realized what an educational and recruitment tool the hallway was. On a more personal note, I have counted it a great honor to be a friend of Dan and to be his colleague. You and Kimberly have been very special people in my life, and I want to thank you for your, your years of support while I was chair of the biology department. Dan, today the university is giving you a chair as a retirement gift. I hope in the days to come that you will see that when you see this rocker, you will be reminded of your years here at AU and the students whose lives you've affected for good. May the chair remind you of the many experiences in the classroom and in the university at large that you have participated in over the past 32 years. And lastly, may it remind you of the many friends you have made here. Always remember that our thoughts and prayers are with you as you enter this new chapter of your life. Please accept this gift with our many thanks for your time spent among us.